G'day, welcome back. So whilst I've got this all out on the bench, I thought I'd give you a quick look over of Bosch K-Jetronic fuel injection. Uh, this is kind of the heart of the system. This is our fuel distributor. Uh, so this sits on top of the air filter. Air filter goes here. Uh, fuel injectors come off the top. And we've got this metering plate here. Uh, so I'll show you. So, yeah, so air filter underneath. As airflow increases, you get more deflection on the plate. As you get more deflection on the plate, uh, you get more fuel going through the injectors. It's very much like a mass airflow sensor, but a mechanical version of one. Uh, CIS is continuous injection, uh, so all injectors fire at the same time. We've also got this cold start injector here that doesn't do a fat lot, uh, apart from a little bit of spraying when the engine's gold. Um, yeah, there are injectors here. These are Bosch K Jetronic injectors. They can't really clean them with an ultrasonic cleaner because there's a built in filter and you you need to reverse flush them which is a bit of a pain to do uh his channel on youtube mercedes source he's got a setup for doing that i'll find a video put a link below uh but yeah in my experience you get poor injector spray just replace the injectors they used to be really cheap not so much these days they're about 50 bucks a piece now so if you've got five cylinders that's 250 dollars starts to get expensive all right these injectors sit inside these plastic injector shrouds Oh, I'll find you one with a. No. So these injectors have got these O-rings on here, and they're a push fit into these injector shrouds. I'm not going to push it on because they're a bear to get off. Uh, and these injector shrouds go into the inlet manifold like that. Again, it's a push fit, and there's two O-rings on here, and you can see someone's already put some kind of sealant on there to try and get these to stick in better. Uh, so yeah, a big issue with, with K-Jet when it starts to get old is kind of erratic idle, high idle, often caused, well, almost certainly caused by a vacuum leak. A key suspect area for vacuum leaks is around these shrouds, around the injectors. Uh, so I've had these on the shelf for a while. I've got a new set of injector, injector seals that we'll put on, so that should hopefully stop the problem there. I've also... On the, on the way I've got the um, replacement seals for these you can see how flat that one that seal is there so yeah that's going to be having a wee bit of a leak by so it's really hard really flat yeah well so we'll fix those up uh, so that's one of the good whilst you're in here jobs I'm going to be doing uh, the other thing that I'm not going to do right now but I've got the parts for I've had these for a while uh, when these fuel distributors get old or tired or start to break down it's often a problem with this this um, diaphragm here uh, that sits in between the two halves of this nice machined aluminium piece and there's a series of plungers that's each got a uh, an o-ring on so to rebuild rebuild one of these it's quite fiddly You've got to do all this do all that put it back together hope it seals i'll do it at some point when i've got a spare one of these um, but i don't have a spare one so we're going to leave it well alone for now see it was working pretty well we did have a slightly high idle so Hopefully by changing these seals will be a whole lot better. Uh, I also had a leaking hose. Our return hose was leaking at one of the swage on, crimped on ends. Uh, thankfully, after I'd uh, cut off the, the crimped on hose, you find this nice barb on there. So I'm just going to replace it with this. Uh, now, K-Jetronic runs at 6.5 bar or 95 PSI, so you can't use your standard fuel injection hose, which is only rated to about 50 PSI. This is SAE 30R14, which is um, up to 225 PSI working pressure, uh, so that should be plenty. I'd got a really snug fit on there. I just need some clamps that fit. Um, I don't have any right now, so yeah, I'll just put some clamps on there. Uh, so yeah, just thought I'd just give you a quick show. Show you this side of the injection system whilst it's on the bench. Um, you probably never see one, but this is what it looks like. So there we go. Comment, like, subscribe, and we'll see you for the next one. Cheers.